Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and this is the Finding 52 Focus for the week of May 24th. And I, the focus for this month, or for this month, for this week, is discovering you. The impetus for this particular focus was me having to start thinking about going back to the office, and I have now gone back to the office twice um, since they've set up the call for us to start going back in one to two days a week. And that is why I am getting this video up very late because it is now 10 after six. I just got home. I just turned on the oven so I can throw in some dinner. I still have to go out and do my run. And I'm just like, ah. so typically I, I don't think I'll be going into the office on Mondays, but you know, I'm having to adjust priorities, rethink different ways of doing things. And obviously part of that was my hair. And for a few weeks now, I had been wanting to get my hair done. Um, it was driving me crazy because every time I'd look into the mirror, I'd be like, okay, the mousy brown with no depth, none of that. It's, it's not making me happy. And throughout the pandemic, I had been dyeing my own hair through e-salon, which I was perfectly happy with. And going and getting my hair cut when I just could not take it anymore. I think during the pandemic, I've gotten my hair cut two or three times. Um, but for the most part, I had let it grow. And I was done. <laughs> I didn't tell Greg what I was doing. I didn't tell my best friend Kelly what I was doing. I was just like, no. I called my hairstylist and I'm like, can you, when can you get me in? I need a cut and a color. And I want to go with some reds and some coppers and some, you know, I want to bring some fire back. And I don't know if, if how many of you have ever looked at any past pictures of me on my, on my Facebook page, but I used to have like super short hair, spiky hair. And it was like, fire engine red and black and it had multiple colors and all of that. And there's a part of me that misses that, but I also know that um, I don't want to go back to being having it be that short. And so this is more of like a an A-line bob. Um, and I lo love that because it can I can still put it up. Uh, and this morning it was really cute in like beach curls but yeah, temperature and office and, you know, going through the day has happened and now it's kind of flat up the front, but, um, I still really like it. I just needed to have it off the back of my neck for the summer and I wanted fire in my hair and it's not as bright red as I had thought that I was going to go, but it's got reds and oranges and yellows in it. Um, and so it's a good start. I know where, how much more I want to do the next time I do this, but, uh, it was a change that I needed and it was the start of discovering me again. And I don't say rediscovering me because the, post-pandemic Amy is very different than the pre-pandemic Amy. And I have done, done a lot of growing, a lot of self-discovery, a lot of anxiety and stress, and just kind of figuring out things during this past 14 months. And I am slowly going to be reintroducing things that I feel comfortable with. Um, as of today, our university no longer has a mask mandate. And I know that there are steps we all have to take. Uh, I am not ready to take that step yet. I will still be in a mask, even though I am fully vaccinated until I, and, and until I feel safe, I'll be in a mask. But I also know that doing things that scare me 
now will help me break out of this shell that I have kind of clustered myself into for the past 14 months. I, again, have always been an extreme extrovert. And to come out of this pandemic afraid to deal with people and germs and, and all of that, I'm like, God, who the hell are you? <laughs> so taking steps that I'm uncomfortable with but willing to take is a step in the right direction for me. And it's a step into discovering who I am now. And, you know, it, it's going to be a slow process. I know that. But I also know that I can't be in this shell for much longer and survive. <laughs> I, it's so funny. It's like, like you're in an eggshell. No, it's kind of like I'm in a candy cut, candy coated shell. <laughs> I just want to get a carve a little piece off and you know take a bite kind of thing, but I just kind of figure I just picture myself like the green green M and M, and she's just kind of trying to break out of that little shell, and I can't tell you why my brain goes that way, but if I had to pick which M and M I am, I would pick either green or the peanut M and M, the big yellow peanut M and M guy. Just kind of the two versions of how I see myself. But, candy tangent. But trying to, to get a feel for who I am and how I'm going to navigate this whole new thing is where I'm kind of going with all of this. Because I know I can't be pre-pandemic Amy because the world has changed too much. I know that I cannot be the Amy that stayed at home and is comfortable going out once a week to get groceries and that's pretty much it. Um, so I have to adapt and I have to pivot and I have to change and that's okay. It took me a little while to just be like, okay, I'm uncomfortable. I don't want to do this. However, <laughs> I have to do this if I want a job <laughs> and I do want to keep my job right now. So I might as well look at it as an adventure and get the most enjoyment out of it as I can, because even though it's something that I am still having issues around or I don't want to do, fine. I don't want to do it, but I, I have to do it. So if I have to do it anyway, I might as well figure out a way to make it more enjoyable. So I'm not going to sit there and be, you know, I can't believe none of it. Nobody's wearing a mask. Blah, 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 blah. No, I will do what's good for me. And I have any judgment of anybody else. And until I feel comfortable, then, you know, then I'll change. But I can't just go along with the herd. I, I've never been that way, but I have to kind of figure out my own path to this. And so discovering me again is a way to do that. And figuring out what this post-pandemic Amy can do and how I can grow. It's over the past couple of days, I've been hearing the same kind of, or uh, the same word um, in various places in a couple of different podcasts that I follow and such. And it's called post-traumatic growth. And it's having, dealing with a post-traumatic, stress, but then growing from that post-traumatic event. And I think one of the cats has knocked something off. I'll deal with that in a minute. I'm looking at the kitten, so I know it wasn't her. Um, 
but growing through going through a post-traumatic event and becoming better for it, even though it's a horrible event that you've had to deal with, finding growth through that is something that I can get behind. And I think that a lot of things, I mean, a lot of us have learned things about ourselves, about the world, about our friends, you know, during this past 14 months. And I, I am sure I'm not the only one that's had some surprises on all of those aspects. Uh, I know that I have changed quite a bit in the way that I just deal with people and the way I deal with my friends. You know, I am used to kind of a balls to the wall kind of way of life. And that is not going to serve me going forward. One, because I am more protective of my health and the pandemic has shown me, you know, how easily that can get taken away from you. And, you know, no more of trying somebody's drink or trying something, you know, having them hand me their fork and I try a piece of whatever they're eating. No, <laughs> you know, before going to our medieval reenactment groups and, you know, having somebody hand me a, a, a mug and go, here, try this. And I take a sip of it. I, I didn't think twice about that. Now, not only am I having, taking my own mug and not, and, and taking my own drinks, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know that I would be comfortable you know, going to a buffet or, you know, that kind of thing. It's, I don't know where I will be, you know, six months from now, but right now that's what I'm discovering is how post-pandemic Amy functions <laughs> and learning about me and how I interact with society and the public and everything else, you know. I, I feel like I've, you know, like I said, wrapped myself up in this candy coated shell and didn't want to get out of it. But now I kind of don't have a choice. And so might as well make the best of it. Hence the hair. And I was like, you know, if I can enjoy that, then maybe it's, maybe that takes the sting out of me not being able to fit in clothes that I previously could fit into or, you know, hating life after four hours in an underwire bra. Trust me. I wore an underwire today for the first time in 14 months and it took everything I had to keep it on for the video. Cause I'm like, Oh, I want to get out of it now. So, just so y'all know, I'm suffering for my art. <laughs> but discovering who you are through after all of this and during all of this, because we're still in it. And who knows what's going to happen, you know, once people start going back to work and, you know, we may have a d another bazillion variants. We may have another surge. I don't know. I don't know. But I have to kind of figure out how I function post-pandemic and how I function not sequestered away in my happy little house with my husband and three cats. <laughs> how I function during public events that I am hosting. How I function in society how I function without, you know, being able to hit mute or have a mask on and so people can't hear me go, oh my God, stupid. You know, it's like, okay, <laughs> got to figure a path through this. So that's kind of where I'm at is just figuring out and discovering me 
because it's a new day and I have to get through this. And there's no, you know, rule book on how we do it. So all my old rules don't work anymore. Everything that I did, you know, during the pandemic doesn't work anymore because I can't go to work in pajama bottoms and a sports bra. And so, okay, how do I, how do I become a functioning person or functioning adult in today's society post pandemic? Let's discover how Amy does that. <laughs> and that's where I'm at. So, you know, I, I wish I had all of these, you know, nuggets of wisdom to give you, but it's like, that's where I'm at right now. And I don't have a guidebook. <laughs> you know, all I can do is give you my best guess and go from there. So that's kind of where I'm at. And ah, I'm kind of excited and terrified at the same time. And I have, you know, I had a really good day at work today and I all of my, you know, work stuff was like, Ooh, we're, we're working on all 12 pistons. However many pistons there are, spark plugs, whatever. Whatever that saying is. I'm not a car girl. But, you know, it, that was very different. Being in a room socially distanced with my team, being able to bounce ideas off of each other and have that energy going was very different than sitting on Zoom, you know, paying attention to the cats or half listening or trying to pay attention, but then, oh, look, there's cake over there. Or, oh, look, I need some oatmeal for breakfast or I need more coffee or, you know, that kind of thing. It was like pinpoint focus. Excuse me. So it's a very different way of looking at things and trying to figure them out. And... I think we're all going to go through some sort of version of this. Even if you have been working the entire time during the pandemic, having other people come back is still going to change things. At least I think it will. But you know, like I said, I can't go back to being pre-pandemic Amy. I've learned too much about myself and other people. <laughs> both good and bad for me and for other people. So all I can do is figure out how to move forward and figure out, you know, discovering me again and what she looks like other than a new hairdo. So there you have it. Uh, sorry, this is getting up late, but as I said, you know, I still have to go and do my run. <laughs> oh, goodness. Just even juggling a new schedule and, and trying to get everything put together and like, oh, crap, now I got to curl my hair. Now I got to do this. Now I'm like, ah! So all of this takes some learning and some skills juggling. And, you know, we're all going to go through it eventually, so... Let me know down below if you're having issues reintegrating into society <laughs> and uh, how you're dealing with it because I know I'm going to hit some bumps in the road. You know, not everything can be solved with a new haircut and color <laughs> or a new shirt. So we'll see what happens. But hey, it's at least going to be an adventure. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you next week.